is Dan Hunter and in today's session we are going to look at controlling of images. So we're going to stop and start animations using GameMaker and using a bit of code. This is to help with the maze game. In the maze game we've got a mouse that runs around the maze picking up cheese. When all the cheese has been collected the uh, mouse door, the mouse hole is going to open up. So you need to set it up a couple of things. The first thing that we need to do is set up a sprite, a picture for the door. And here's one I set up earlier. I right clicked, created a new object and a new sprite. I created several images. There's five images and they show, uh, they slow, sh I can't speak, they show the door opening. You can see it's closed, slightly opening, bigger opening, more opening until it's completely open. And you can see there's the animation there. Now, if you were to use this image as an object and put it in, that animation would play right from the very beginning. So the door would flip open, flip open, flip open. What we want to do is we want to stop it on the very, very first image, that one there. So whilst the mouse is collecting cheese, the door is closed. We only want to animate it when all the pieces of cheese have been opened. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So once I've created the images, I have created a new object called the object door. And I have added the event create. And for this, I've created an action. The action currently says stop image. I went to control and code and dragged that over. And what I did is I entered in some comments, which is three slashes and then stop image. That's just a little note to remind me what this code does. This is the first time that you've coded that you've typed it in. It really is fairly simple. You go image, because that's the name of the object, underscore speed, it turns red because that's a defined name. Game Maker knows that that is the command that you use to change the image speed. I don't want it to move, so I set it to zero. There we go. That's a tick, and that creates it there. It's got it twice. You only need it once. Then I'm going to use that line of code again. This time I'm going to do it for the event any key. What I've done is I've dragged over the code across and typed in image underscore speed equals one. It's a Boolean statement, zero off, one on. So basically I said, no, speed, move it and it will play it so. I've got this to occur when any key is pressed, but you can set it up for any event. So you could set it up that when the amount of cheese collected is 10, image speed equals one and it will work. Let's have a look at it in action. The key mistake people make is they haven't put the object door in the room. There you go, I have done there. So the behavior I'm expecting is when the game starts, you see the door, the door is closed because the speed is set to zero. Let's have a look, see if that works. Pause, pause, pause. There we go, the game is coming up. So there you go, the door is not animated at all, but when I press any key, I set the image speed to one. And there you go, you can see the door animating. So you can incorporate that in your if statements. So if all the cheeses, all the objects have been created, uh, collected, sorry, then move the image. So image speed, that's the control that we need. Nice and easy, have a go, include it in your maze game, and I'll see you soon. Thanks very much. Take care. Bye-bye.